Hi guys, it's me, Sarah, from the Boo Sewing Center. Um, today I wanted to show you how easy it is to do an update on your Luminaire or your Solaris. So um, I already have my machine set up so that it can auto-download. Um, and if you have your machine set up for that, you might see the little blue icon in the corner. This means that my Wi-Fi is currently on on the sewing machine. And it means that um, I have this little blue exclamation mark which means that I actually have a download. So I am ready to do an update. When I touch that button, it automatically takes me to the Wi-Fi page. And here it says auto download, and I have mine set to on. You can see that it's blue. Um, and then under here is update manually and a load button. So if you heard online that there is an update for your machine and it hasn't given you the blue exclamation mark yet. Um, if you're very anxious, um, you can go over here and you can hit update manually in the load button. And what that will do is it will search the Wi-Fi, it will search to Baby Luck or Brother and it will look for that version and it will get it ready to install. Once it has been downloaded, what you're gonna get is this version down at the bottom where it says status, latest version 3.06. And then it says there is a new update available to install the update, turn off the machine, and then hold down the automatic threading button and turn on the machine again. So this button right here is the automatic threading button on this machine. So I'm gonna turn my machine off and I'm gonna touch this button and I'm gonna turn the machine back on. And now what you're gonna see is the screen looks a little different. It's not our normal um, screen that we have. And so I'm gonna touch this button over here because I wanna pull out that um, update via the Wi-Fi because that is how the machine um, loaded it. And you'll notice the machine doesn't actually make any noise when you touch that button, um, but it does take just a second for that to come on, plus load to install the update file. So I'm gonna to touch the load button. And then you can see this is the really not so exciting part. Um, this right here um, is what the screen looks like while it's loading. So um, it can take anywhere from a couple of minutes to um, five or six minutes, depending on um, your the particular file. So um, we'll give it just a second here. If you don't want to watch the whole part um, while this is getting to the percentage here, um, you can go ahead and fast forward to the end of this video where I show you what the screen says, which is basically you have successfully completed your upgrade. You can turn your machine off and turn it back on. I do want to point out it is important to let the machine go ahead and um, and do this. Um, don't stop in the middle of this if at all possible. That can really um, give you some grief later on because the operating system um, is sort of in flux right now.
Great. You can see that the screen now says upgrade complete. So once the upgrade is complete, we are going to turn our sewing machines off and then we are going to turn our sewing machines back on. And oftentimes we're gonna have a user agreement that's gonna pop up here. So it says, um, please read the end user license agreements um, prior uh, to use. So um, you can select okay. And um, this is what's gonna come up here. Um, it's basically talking about the terms of use of your sewing machine. Um, this one has four pages to it. Um, you can just hit the close button if you're not interested in reading it. But that's it. That is how you actually install the update once it's been um, downloaded to your machine. I hope this is helpful. Thanks a lot, guys.